Hello guys and welcome to episode 5 of my Baron of Egypt campaign in Steel Division 2, playing on the Axis side. Previously we made a successful defence with the 282nd Replacement Battalion versus the 1st Battalion of the 35th Mechanized Brigade and some artillery there in the 19th Mechanized Brigade as well. Now what we have to do is defend with the 5th Cavalry Regiment which is under attack uh, by the 35th Mechanized Brigade as well as the 75th Cyber Powered Artillery Regiment. We will back ourselves up with the 49th Tank Destroyer Battalion, but I'm going to leave the 2nd Battalion out of it. Let's jump on in. So we're only going to have 20 points to work with in Phase A, which is actually not a lot at all. So I'm hoping the map is quite small. Okay, this is the Orsha North map, so uh, we should be okay. I can cover most of the roads very easily uh, with the 75 mils. Uh, we can have one on the right and one on the left to cover those main two roads and then we'll kind of have ambushing AT guns elsewhere. But you know the drill. I'll be back with you guys in just a second. The defences are set up. Let me go through them quickly. Got a couple of uh, right Jäger on the left hand side here, some with the MP44s. I've got the right Jäger with just the MP40s and the Panzerfaust as well. MG42 covering those, Pac-75 and a Pac-37 covering the road with an MG42 behind those. A close range pack 50 here to deal with stuff that comes up this road. Right to Führer there is in range of the Commandant. And then we have this Right to Führer uh, also in range of this one to connect the command. Pack 50 is kind of out in the open, but that's shooting towards this road. I've got a little bit of an ambush set up here and a pack 37 further back. Pack 50, max range down the road. I'm hoping that both of these pack 50s can fire at the same time. I've got this slightly further back than just where it breaches so that they have to come forwards to engage this pack 50 that's quite obvious and then we've got an mg42 in the church behind that right Jaeger just covering these trees another right Jaeger there on that side with all of these at guns pack 75 mil in front uh, with the pack 37 behind just to provide some extra fire with the right Jaeger covering the right flank that is it let's carry on just going to speed things up. I should be able to uh, shoot a lot of these on the road. That's why I put the 37mm there as well as the 75 so that we can get these kills nice and easy. There we go, that's two already. That's uh, three. Lovely. We're getting loads of kills onto these, I expect, as well. Although these don't have better C. Uh, I do have another Commandant that I could bring in, so I should probably do that. I didn't realise I had a second one. Alright, we'll definitely make sure to bring that in at some point. I can probably put it on the right here somewhere, although the right isn't really being pushed. Oh, I might need something to go and hunt down those mortars as well. I do have my own mortars. I guess we could maybe bring those in. Not sure. But we're currently up against the 3rd Battalion the 35th Mech. Uh, the support of the 35th Mech and the 75th self propelled Artillery Regiment, which is the SU-85s, I think. Now, the support of the of the 35th Mech is pretty nasty. They're going to have a lot of artillery and stuff, so we're going to want to try and push through and deal with those. Probably going to get some uh, right Jaeger over here, and uh, actually no, Jaeger Pioneer, sorry, these are. And we'll push them through these trees and maybe try and hunt down some of those mortars. But so far so good. They've only got nine minutes left. We deployed really far forwards, so what that's going to allow us to do is uh, win the battle as quickly as possible, really. Like, we get a total defeat in nine minutes at the moment. I don't have a machine gun on this right side. Oh, no, maybe I do. Never mind. Uh, we have the MG42 there. That's good. Uh, maybe worth bringing in the Marder just to help cover the, from the top there. Uh, this is a little bit of a problem. The Stralki getting close to the bunker. Uh, maybe I have to have my Light Jäger move across, or I guess I could move these Light Jäger into cover here. That might work. This MG42 might get line of sight at some point as well. Alright, let's keep things sped up. And those are using their MP44s at the moment, which isn't really what I want. I'm going to put them back into cover over here. And maybe they'll just come towards us. To 
just get out of line of sight. We can kill these Thraki instead. At close range, these right here give them P44s, especially at two star veterans. See, you should absolutely demolish these uh, Thraki here. Especially if they're going to run out of cover. Right, that works for me. Uh, maybe I should get uh, an MG or two here as well. Just to help with covering the center there. Yeah, these can both run into cover. Lovely stuff. Well, we did bump into these Thraoki there, unfortunately. I might just have to back off from that. Uh, let's just get these into the trench. Uh, we'll tell those ones to run so they target the one that's going to the trench. To make some room. In you go, chaps. Right, let's get that coming down up. I'm actually going to bring it to this MG. I think that makes sense. See if we can get into 300 meter range of these Thraoki from the trees here. If we can, that'd be fantastic because the MP44s will demolish those units. There we go. You can see we're doing a lot of damage now. Cool. Alright, MG's doing well there. We've got Mamada going up on the hill. I might bring in just a couple of MGs here as well, on the left hand side. So far we haven't really had to deal with those mortars too much. They haven't done a crazy amount of damage. Now this Starkey being in position though is kind of annoying because it stops me getting towards those mortars that I was talking about. Uh, these guys, they need to fall back. I can't afford to have them attacked from range. Okay. Oh, we see an SU-85. Do we have penetration? We do. We've got plenty of penetration. Just got to find a penetrating shot before it pins us down. That's an incendiary hit. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, the Strauki there. Oh, they're going to take a lot of fire as they come out of the trees. Damn. Alright, well, that's them dealt with. I'm also going to move these guys across and we'll start engaging the Avtos and such. So these just all Dushka Turks? I guess they are. All right, well, we'll make sure to kill those. And, well, this mod is already out of ammunition. <laughs> already out of ammunition. Wow. Okay. Let's just get back into cover there. There's apparently in the Strauki outrange both of those. All my Jaeger Pioneers were... Surrendered. It looks like there was another unit with grenades in there. The Sapari. Well, at least these guys are doing their job. These MGs. I think I have more MGs actually. Yeah, we got loads of these MGs. I may as well bring them all in. They're doing a fantastic job. Might bring one in up here as well. Only two minutes left though. Look how slow that RSO munition is. <laughs> He's just pootling through the countryside. We did just use a light fuel. Uh looks like um Mortar probably killed that. It's fine. 
Actually, I guess it could have been the SU-85 here. Yeah, it might have been the SU-85, actually. Interesting. And they are slowly making ground, but nothing significant. Uh, that Pack 50 again is hitting the SU-85 nicely. Aptos engaging the Pack 50 at close range is not ideal. But as long as they can be hit by the MG-42 is not too much of a concern. Ideally, I would have had these MP44s in positions where they could dictate the 300 meter range engagement, but from where the front line was, I couldn't quite do that. So they're kind of overexposed in a lot of ways, but any units that get too close are still going to get chewed up regardless. But as you can see, they're going to run out of uh, car ammunition anyway. I guess what I could do, in fact, is like turn off the car 98s, but yeah, these guys probably want to do a runner, honestly. I'm just going to unload these as well. Get all the MGs out. Oh, that's too late. Yeah, get with MP44 is dead. They came through with a lot of infantry in the center. Wow. We will mow them down with our abundance of MG42s. Gotta love it. This is barely being shot at. Hearing all of those fire at once is, is just fantastic. Nine seconds left, let's just speed things up. That's going to be a total victory. We did lose a few units there, which is uh, less than ideal. The two MP44, the Light Jaegers, and uh, the Light Führer. Uh, the Light Führer did die to the, uh, M uh, to the mortar as expected, so that's all well and good. 46 kills, 4 losses. Okay. So, that was pretty good. It definitely doesn't show the extra losses. That just shows a Jaeger Pioneer loss. But we did lose the two MP44s. I think you do actually lose those units. It just doesn't show up on the, the end there, like in the analysis of the battle. So across the front, they are disorganized. So many disorganized units, actually. It's kind of ridiculous. Uh, what we can potentially do is like move our defensive line forwards by attacking disorganized units. I mean, I can definitely destroy this one with these guys. We'll do that. I'm just going to pull them back again after doing so. Cool. Uh, we can probably kill off the 42nd Guards Cavalry Regiment, but I'm not sure I want to do that. Um, let's make sure we get rid of the 127th Cavalry Regiment. I'm going to dig in the 1st Battalion of the 611th Security Regiment as well. Uh, we'll use, I guess, the 52nd Security Division to attack those guys. And that's actually going to open up reinforcements at Stupsi. Okay, cool. So we can bring in Kampfgruppe Bischoff. Is that is that? Probably saying it wrong, but that comes in with the Boitish Stalin. Very nice. Uh, comes in with the uh, Vespa. Uh, the remains of the 29th Panzer Regiment, which is just a bunch of Panzer Fours. A few Tigers, actually. And the 5th Panzer Grenadier Regiment. Interesting. Any extra stuff? No. Might be worth uh, waiting and just bringing those in. 
I'm just reinforcing this area. We don't have enough to buy the Jaegers anyway. Uh, these Jaegers, they are very elite. We've got some Sturm Jaegers, we've got normal Jaegers. Lots of Panzerbuchsers. Not much AT though. Uh, what else was in there? Assault Gun Brigade that has a bunch of Stug 3s, Stug 42s. And we got the Group Hartneck Reserve. How can we bring that in here? I guess so. Very cool. That didn't cost a thing, so we may as well bring it in. <laughs> okay, and behind uh, these forces, we're probably just going to set up another defense there. Just moving those over to the side uh, to take some of the terrain, or territory, I guess. Um... I can definitely move the 507th Heavy Panzer Battalion in front. I really don't mind uh, that being the case. But I do need to kind of close this gap. Now, I did have someone say about this bridge on the top side and the fact that we need to worry about that, but I don't think their reinforcements come in anywhere near that. I think they come in up here. So... I don't think we'll have to worry about them coming across the topside bridge. We'll definitely see if they do because the, the front line will push up anyway and then we can maybe bring some in at uh, Baranovici. Anyway, uh, on this bottom side, I probably want to destroy uh, both of these units. So let's go ahead and do that. Auto resolve, goodbye. And then I'm going to do the same here with the 1st Battalion of the 509th. Okay. And then I want to reconnect those guys. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. Because hmm. I don't want to move them, obviously, because they will lose their uh, dug-in status. Hmm. Alright, we'll just leave them where they are. Uh, what about the 4th Tank Regiment? I could probably attack them with the 2nd Battalion of the 509th Grenadier, but that will pull in the 2nd Battalion of the 19th Mechanized Brigade as well as the 219th Motorized Rifle Battalion. We could maybe bomb or arty those. Uh, are they in range? They are. Perfect. And maybe we can attack them with Group Hartneck. Trying to work out which would be the best to do that with. Because if I want to move the defenses forwards, I need this to be an attack where nothing can reinforce. And these can still reinforce in phase A. So we could technically bombard with our bombers and then do it. But it'd be better off just destroying some of these with a attack from Group Hartneck, I believe. Uh, make good use of them. So let's just have Group Hartneck move in. Uh, we are going to have to be careful, of course, of the 45 mil AT guns. But as long as I have my recon up in front of my tanks, I should be okay. And I might bring in the artillery battalion behind it just in case. Although, actually, it kind of seems like a bit of a waste doing that. Yeah, let's just go like so. Uh, I will, however, need to cover the skies. Just put up our air superiority. We have already made them call in a lot of their units anyway. I reckon all of these are going to be on zero action points anyway. Yeah, they've already used them all up, trying to uh, help out the disorganized units who already attacked. So let's uh, grab Group Hartneck and uh, make this attack. All right, we'll jump on in. They are going to pull in those units in phase C, uh, but we just won't let it get to phase C. That's the plan. Should be a pretty simple setup. Ooh, not a fan of how wide this map is. Just because my tigers are going to be pretty isolated and therefore more vulnerable to the 
fire from AT guns, especially considering I don't actually have that many spear throop. Hmm. That's awkward. Alright, well, they normally place them up on the hill here, so I might have one go towards the center at least. I'll have one just unload on the left, and then we'll have one maybe on the right here somewhere. Uh, then, aside from those, uh, we just want our tanks down, so tanks, like, in the open, like, the Tigers should be okay from range, but I barely have enough points to, like, have one on each road from the start. Okay, off we go. I've kind of got to make the AT guns actually fire at my Tigers, just hope that I'm showing front armor when they do. Make sure my Spätrup are leading the way. Then we can just follow them up. I'm going to have to bring in more Tigers and uh, help out. I do have the Babswacker to help us out if I spot any infantry. Right, there we go. There's one of them. Okay, that's good. I should have had a look at what infantry they have as well that can potentially kill my tigers at close range. Oh well. Yeah, I think I'm going to bring a Stabswaka into the town. And we're going to stop that tiger where it is because I'm a little bit concerned about going into this town as well. I just need the infantry there so that the uh, AI fire at them. I guess there's going to be a mortar. Yep. Not too much to worry about there. Let's just keep pushing up. We've already taken taken five points, which is good. Uh, the Spreather are moving through the town now. And we're engaging the 82mm mortar. There's something here, probably. So... Maybe I'll bring in my last Stubbsvaka on the left-hand side. Like even the infantry have better optics than the tanks, so just having a squad of infantry nearby is very, very helpful. Okay, so they've actually deployed quite a lot of mortars at the start, which is probably a good thing. I'm going to bring in the Stars Vak on the left. Oh, we see a bunch of their units there. That's great. I'm going to bring this Tiger over to the left-hand side to help us deal with those. And I'll probably bring in the Befilled Tiger to make that a three-star Tiger. And we can also move this one to the right to engage as well. Oh, that's not good. It's not good at all. No, don't die, Spetherup. Don't die. Ah, that's really bad for us. Because I'm not going to be able to spot these Tralki, especially if they hide back in that town. That's rough. Ah, that's one trouble with leading with recon like that. Especially when you don't have much to support it. Looks like most of their infantry was on that side. Right, let's move up this Stabswaka and uh, find out where those guys went. <laughs> we killed the tankers. That's good. I uh, do need to kill off the M. 3A1 Razvedka there. That's pretty important. We'll keep pushing through with the Stavsvak on this side and move the Schiegerspieter up. Okay, good. 
I can kill that. I feel like we're gonna bump into an infantry unit here at some point. I need to bring in like another tiger on this right hand side. I guess the Starkey here are like falling back. Oh, my tiger's under attack apparently. Uh, where's that coming in from? Uh, we've been shot at from here. Okay, let's uh, move my stubs back forwards. We're going to try and hunt them down. At least we're facing, which is good. Let's move this Stabsvakar up onto that hill. Uh, we'll get them into line of sight so we can see the Straki. And then the Tigers can just mow them down. Right, they should have run out of APCR now, so I think the Tigers are safe to move up on the 45 mil. Uh, there is a combat actually in the in the town there. Oh, well, that's okay. We should be able to defeat them at close range. Staraki have gone down on this right hand side. I think that'll open up quite a lot of ground. I'm just going to have to move across through here with the Stubbs Vaka to see what's going on. But we'll bring an Eberfeld Tiger to that left hand side so we can take control of the high ground. Um, let's just move over the Stubbs Vaka to find that 45. I think as soon as we get line of sight with the infantry we'll be able to spot it. We'll need to be careful not to get shot at in the meantime though by anything else. We keep these guys alive. There it is. Beautiful. Back into cover we go. And we can bring up the Tigers actually pretty close to help out. Let's get that tiger for the right hand side that I was talking about earlier. And uh, having revealed those, we can certainly engage them with the tiger. I'm going to want to get up on this hill though, I think. And I'm going to want to have uh, another one going down the middle road. Uh, let's move these stubs back up to the right. Don't have the tigers to support us just yet though. Losing the recon on that left side really kind of sucked. Those VZ Vod though, wow. They are getting wrecked, right? Actually, I guess I could use this one on this road, and then I can... Um, yeah, and then I can just push more to the right-hand side here. I think there's still like a couple AT guns I've got to deal with. Oh, that's not good. Uh, okay, well, at least we managed to pin those down. That's going to get rid of those. Fantastic. That just leaves a unit in these trees, I guess. Maybe? Maybe not. Never mind. When we use the Jägerspeer through, through then, I'll have this Tiger come over and pop that M3A1 combat. Uh, we're going to need to move up on this side. Okay. As long as I keep my tigers in the open, uh, we won't lose one. There's only one minute remaining until phase B. And we are going to want it to be a major victory if we can. We are actually pretty close. Need to move up my tiger more there. 
This tiger's coming in on this side. I might bring in another one just in case. There's still infantry in this section. There we go. It's going to be a major victory. I mean, if we can just surround the units here, that would be perfect. Because then I don't have to really deal with them. We found some what avatars there. These, this tiger coming up at close range can deal with that easily. And also the tiger now swatting the M3A1 again can kill that off. Goodbye. Imagine just being these guys. Like casually in a firefight against some infantry over here. And then behind you, you hear a tiger approaching. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> well, it looks like they probably wouldn't have had time to react anyway. Oh shit. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> they almost got us. Almost debated. Wow. <laughs> that was lucky. <laughs> My Jäger Spätler didn't even spot those. Because they were in like cover. <laughs> Damn. Alright, we just got a 45 mil on the right hand side as well. Oh my, that was so close. So close. The AI almost took a tiger away. Oh god, no. No, I jinxed myself. I'm sorry. Oh my. <laughs> Stop charging with me with infantry AI, please. <laughs> they came up with a vengeance there. <laughs> Job done. Job done. Okay, that was fun. Um, yeah, that one poor Jäger Spätrup died in the process. Well, that's done a decent amount of damage. I actually destroyed the unit entirely. That's fantastic. And now we can quite easily attack these guys um, with the auto resolve. That's going to push our front line forward slightly. Um, I can even push forwards the artillery behind these to... Uh, Back up group heart neck. So I don't think I need really any um, 88s here anymore. I might just move them up to the top side. Because I think the 40th Cossack Battalion is going to get attacked. What I might do actually, uh, let's do this. We will actually fall back on this top side because they are very exposed up there. I'm going to move them back. And we're going to dig them in here instead. We still have, we can still dig them in the same turn actually, because they have uh, four action points. Yeah, because they are technically recon, so that's fine. And uh, I'll just move up my 88s there. Cool. That's going to stop the third tank regiment from attacking us next turn. Uh, I'm also going to move these back as well. I think it's pointless uh, letting them be attacked on their own, uh, even if it does lose us the fortifications. I'm just hoping that these guys can't be attacked on their own now. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, that could get awkward. I think they they should be just out of range, I'm hoping. Alright, anyway, with the 474th Tank Destroyer Battalion, it's just... <laughs> look how many Panzer Strikes we get. What? <laughs> how is this even useful? <laughs> That's like over 100 Panzer Strikes. <laughs> Right. Okay. <laughs> I, just, I just don't even know how to react to that. I've never seen that before. Like, we could take advantage of some of these units, but I'm concerned in doing so. I might just pull back with this unit for the time being. This one can be attacked. We have the 177th Assault Gun Brigade behind them anyway. And uh, these guys are here as well now. I can move these up. That's actually going to give us the Jagdpanzer 38 Ts. Very nice. And where do I want to go with these Stugs? I guess I could send some down to the bottom side. But then what do I want to do with 
Panthers, I mean, <laughs> I just feel like I have so much stuff right now. <laughs> we'll move the Panthers up here. We'll move the Panzer Fours in here. Uh, the Security Regiment I'll have next to Group Hartnack. And then the 474th Tank Destroyer Battalion, uh, I guess, can head up. Cool. Uh, the 33rd Panzer Grand Regiment. Uh, we could move downward into the gap. I think that was the plan. And since we're starting to move up some of these other units, it may be worth moving some of these as well. Although I think I'm going to keep those two with uh, three action points just in case the Assault Battalion AOK2 gets attacked. Because then we can use them to back them up. Alright, let's move up the artillery uh, behind our lines here. Fantastic. All right, and we'll save our points because there's nothing we can spend it on anyway. All right, so we've uh, cut off their air force. We've moved more or less everything on the front line for now. We'll let them bounce off, off us for a little bit longer. And then what we'll do is uh, probably push back and try and take some more ground uh, for ourselves. Okay. Yeah, let's end the turn. Alright, oh, straight in. Uh, first Battalion of the 5th Cavalry Regiment under attack by the 133rd Cavalry Regiment. Uh, that means we can bring in the 177th Assault Gun Brigade. Uh, we do have plenty of these Stur 42s, which should be good against all of their units. Uh, maybe the OBs uh, can get the better of our Stugs, but we will see. Uh, they will probably bring in the SC-76s in Phase B and stuff, but honestly, if they're only attacking with a Cavalry Regiment in Phase A, then it's unlikely they're actually going to do too much in Phase B. And do I even want to bring in more reinforcements? I don't think I do. Uh, we, we could maybe bring in some bombers, but I think we've got enough on the ground anyway. I think I'm just going to save the aircraft for now. Uh, let's tactical battle and uh, jump on in. Well, it looks like they're attacking on their own anyway. Maybe they were counting on air cover, but didn't get any. Yeah, that's just, just them on their own. All right, so I'm not going to take too long to do this. We'll just uh, whack down the bunkers. And um, yeah, we just got to basically have our pack 38 or pack 37, sorry, uh, target these roads ASAP. I'll put one there. We'll put one a bit further back that can Shoot a bit more to the left-hand side. Uh, we'll definitely have one on this road. I'm actually going to have it quite far back, though. Um, we'll do the same here. We'll have a bunch of MGs. Before, they came through here quite a lot, so we'll put two MGs in the open. Two MG bunkers, like so. I need an MG bunker on this side, covering that, and I need one on the right as well. Okay. Um, We'll just move that back a little bit so we can cover this slight cover on the left as well. Uh, we'll put the 75mm bunker maybe on top, not sure. Do we even need these bunkers? I'll probably deploy without them, but I guess it's a good idea to have them in positions where we can also shoot the transports with them. So from up here, for example, it's not too bad. That means we have three deployed on that left side, and then we can maybe have um, we have one like so. All right, we'll put these up on the hills just because. Uh, don't really have anything for this close range engagement. I guess what we can do with those is just use the right Jaeger with MP44s. But aside from that, um, I would bring in the assault gun brigade and use the like Stur 42s from the top of the hill. But I don't think it's worth it because of the OBs. Uh, they'll probably bring in the OBs, so uh, it's probably best we just don't play into that at all. Uh, I could use the recon, though. Uh, we can bring in the Aufklader, uh, definitely. Yeah, that will certainly help us uh, identify the infantry from a distance. Okay, and then it's just going to be infantry, so put a couple of right Jaeger here with MP44s 
Well, let's just put three down there with a Red Fiora. Uh, we'll put the Commandant in the center here, uh, 1,500 meters away from those, from that Red Fiora. And uh, then we'll join that with more MP44s. This is mostly just going to be infantry, right? And the MP44 is absolute king. Then we want to go 1,000 meters from that. Um, so I'll probably just place one in here. Maybe we'll do like a, another few light Jaegers there. That's going to be pretty much all of my light Jaeger MP44s down. Um, I guess I could place a couple here. Uh, with a right Führer. Not too bad. And we'll get definitely all of my MGs in this time. These MGs, when we were playing in the last battle with the machine guns, did a lot of work for us. Let's get another Commandant on this, uh, on this side. And I'm going to make sure that all of these units have trenches. We're just going to barbed wire in between as well. Nothing crazy, just some standard barbed wire. Double it up. Just kind of dictates where the AI goes. Like if we put some across here, for example, they're less likely to come through these trees. We do have 175 mil bunker left. Let's put it back here. All right. Leave those with trenches if needs be. Put that in the trench. Um, I'll just put these in a trench. Uh, I'll give these a trench as well. Trenches for all the stuff. So this is a little bit different to normal. I, I would normally skip doing this, but just because it's actually not going to take me that long at all, I just thought I'd show you guys how I do it. Um, I might just have some trenches here for this one as well, because they're better off in a trench than they are in heavy cover. Like infantry tends to deal better with being in that. So let's just have some light Jaeger behind here, and uh, we'll just drop a trench there. In any other places we're pretty closely engaging. I mean, maybe on this road might be, not be a bad idea for some Panzerfaust, or maybe over here. Maybe over here as well. They're probably going to reveal themselves with their car 98s thinking about it, so let's best, best not do that. And we'll just put them maybe like behind here. And then a couple in the town. All right, let's go. Here they come, straight into my AT. The pack 37 is all uh, we need. The pack 50 is also able to fire. That's great. We can unload them all early. My alpha is in position to just spot them all for us. And if any get close, we can just uh, move forwards our units. So this is where I'm a little bit worried about the uh, the OB, uh, but I guess we could bring in like the Stur 42s afterwards now that we know where they are, because they're going to constantly fire at the Pack 37. But what we can do is uh, just bring in a couple Stur 42s now and engage uh, that at max range. I was hoping there'd be uh, like no positions really where the OB could hit our bunkers from max range, but I guess I kind of. I left that one there on purpose at max range, so <laughs> never mind, huh? Right, let's just uh, keep it sped up. There's no reason to wait. Uh, I can maybe try and smoke that. I don't know. Uh, let's just put it on return fire so it doesn't reveal itself, because I think that's why the OB stopped firing at it. Maybe. Maybe not. Bring up a couple of normal stugs up on the hill, I think. It's fine. And 
do we have like command strokes we can use? They might be worth having like a command stroke here. Oh, never mind. That's already dead. Well, I guess the the Stur 42s are gonna cover that regardless. There's gonna be a big amount of infantry coming through here. Just gonna back that up with more Stugs. Gonna bring a Stug to the left hand side as well. Here they come. I guess I could maybe go through the gardens. I will keep them hidden as they advance. And then hopefully we get a uh, line of sight here. Okay, well, we two shot it, it's fine. There's another one on the right hand side now. We're going to shoot a 42 up on the hill. Actually, I might just move these across. Let's do that. They're under mortar fire anyway, so, may as well move them. Only four minutes left. Really isn't going to take that long. I don't know what they expected by, uh, by making this attack. You see how long it takes to put down the defenses just for this to be the case. But if you don't place down the defenses like I have done, then they would just pile through. They just get a load of infantry stacked up in one position and come through. But when you have the defenses down, they kind of have to deal with the defenses first before they start attacking you. Well, both these Stur 42s are going to have 3 star veterancy, that's lovely. Mm, actually, maybe not, because they might move out of range of the Commandant. We'll see. Let's just hope this OB doesn't one-shot my Stur 42s. Hopefully I can just hit that with two Stur 42s and it dies instantly. Oh, yeah, it missed. <laughs> that would have been awkward. <laughs> Tell you what, they're really trying to target my Stur 42 with mortars. Yeah, if the defenses weren't here, this is what would happen. Like, the vehicles would get really close. I actually found an OB there. I'm actually going to hunt that down, just because... Yeah. Well, it's worth killing, so that we don't have to deal with it again if we end up having to fight this uh, unit. But I think this will just destroy the unit we were up against anyway. Okay. One minute left. Not bad. Not bad. Well, my alpha pattern nearly died. <laughs> Almost got hit by the <laughs> random mortar shells. It's not too good. I'm just hoping that nothing else can be killed in the meantime. These right Jaeger have moved out of position, so that's all good. Oh, nice. And we destroyed that infantry squad as well. Okay. That bunker did a lot of work, actually. Killed a lot of stuff. Didn't take a single loss. Job done. Is that going to destroy them? It 
can just disorganize them. That's fine. Wonder if we'll get attacked elsewhere. I don't think I left myself in a position really to be attacked anywhere else. I guess group partner could be attacked. That's a full armored unit coming round. Towards group partner. Yep, back to our turn. All right, bravo. Unfortunately, guys, it has been my time, so I'm going to leave it here. In the next episode, what we'll do is we'll deal with the 3rd Tank Regiment at some point. We need to start uh, crushing these disorganized units further up and solidifying our defense at uh, Stubbs if we can bring in our reinforcements. Well, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.